Our goal was to build an antenna system capable of harvesting energy at radio frequencies. For starters, we knew that we would need antenna, rectifier circuit and something in which we could store the harvested energy. We also need a matching network in between the antenna and the rectifier to prevent power from reflecting or re-radiating from our energy harvester. We wanted to aim for simplicity in both the rectifier circuitry and the board design to minimize losses in components and to prevent parasitic components from taking place. Our antenna design was inspired by Han Solo's iconic spaceship Millennium Falcon. We decided our target frequencies by measuring the power spectral density with spectrum analyzer in various frequencies with the help of reference dipoles. And therefore the rectifier is ideally designed for frequencies where the power spectral density is the highest in Finland. We also designed an energy storage a supercapacitor with DC-DC switching out boost converter. We had multiple options when selecting the antenna type. What sort of radiation pattern would be suitable, whether to go with multi-band and target only certain frequencies, or pick a broadband design. As the used radio frequency bands vary around the world, we propose an ultra-wideband monopole antenna specifically designed to support frequencies from 800 MHz up to 10 GHz, with near omnidirectional radiation pattern in the horizontal plane. The proposed antenna was designed and tuned in CST Microwave Studio Simulator. The rectifier circuit was first designed in AVR design environment and matched with ideal elements as a proof of concept. Later we saw fit to design also the rectifiers board in CST to account for the parasitic components. Finally we imported the entire design into AVR for the matching. The final tuning was done manually with realistic components so that the manufactured rectifier would perform similar to simulations. Antenna's return loss was measured with vector network analyzer. We built a measurement setup in an unechoic chamber. We measured the far field radiation pattern and power efficiency of our antenna. The measured radiation pattern was nearly omnidirectional. Results of both measurements showed that the designed antenna is suitable for our power harvester. The rectifier was assembled on designed circuit board. We verified the correct operation with measurements. We checked the rectifier's operation by feeding it from a signal generator and measured the output DC voltage. The rectifier worked as intended. After assembling and testing the rectifier, we attached it directly into our antenna's input port with SMA cable and checked system's operation in normal use environment by measuring harvested ambient power. In our indoor measurements, results varied from 0.1 nanowatts to 16 nanowatts depending on the antenna's orientation and variations in ambient RF power levels.